Welcome folks to another lesson, an extension of angle properties of circle. Now, I'm going to show you how to use those basics. The most important thing is, as you practice, do not answer the questions. Try to internalize what are the tools. Basic four are enough. Diameter subtend an angle of 90. So anytime you see a diameter, it is to assist you. Number two, if you see a chord in your circle, then he is testing two things. When you see a chord, it has two parts. A chord subtend an angle theta on the circumference, but the same chord will subtend an angle 2 theta at the center of the circle. The mark you use to mark the angle, the sign you use to mark the angle at the circumference matches is similar to the one you use to mark at the center. Then those ones are related. That is what I want to show. Number three, cyclic quadrilateral. Number four, alternate segment theorem. So in short, anytime you see a diameter, there is something is testing. Anytime you see a chord, there is something he's testing. Anytime you see a cyclic quadrilateral, he wants to know if you remember opposite angles add up to 180. Anytime you see a tangent, there is alternate segment theorem. And of course, parallel lines. Then you are done. What are we going to do now? There are questions that have been asked. One, two, three. But I don't want us to go to the question. I want us to put what we remember. We identify what we we identify what tool is there, then we will apply the knowledge. If you look at the diagram, there is a tangent. There is another tangent. Automatically is testing you on alternate segment theorem. So I don't want to go to the question. I want us to put what we have. You have seen there is a chord which is not shown. And that's why I've written here. Use the angles given to generate other angles. You are given other, uh, you are given angles so that you use them to generate others. That means the knowledge of equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle will come in handy, base angles. Okay? So any angle you are given is to help you generate another. Sometimes you may not be given chords. It is upon you to see that you enter that chord, you draw that chord. Because this is exam, it's about testing Skills. Do you have this right skill? Yes. So the first thing I see here, I can also add here. The first thing I'm seeing missing here, I can put that chord. See, I can put that chord. See the chord in red now? Yes. This chord subtend an angle at T. It also subtend an angle at O. And this part here and these are related. Remember I told you signs. They must be similar, uniform. If it is facing left, both of them left. So this is the sign I mark angle here. And this is the sign I mark angle here. You can see at the circumference, at the center. They are the same. You cannot relate. This is okay. You cannot relate. And then at the circumference is that. It can't work. This can't work. That is just from me.
Okay? So, when lines are hidden, draw them. I've drawn. It's clear. Then, I know this angle is made by the chord and the tangent. So, I can also introduce another one. I can introduce another one there. So, if this is 40, then this is also 40. If this is 30 up to here, it also make 30. So, if I asked you angle RTQ, you would have it automatically. Without looking at the question, you will have already answered. What else do I know? TQSR is a cycling quadrilateral. So you have to identify the tool and then you apply the skin. So the tool we've had here, we have had a tangent, we have chord, we get them. Now, if I know this is 30 and 40, it is opposite to this one. This is a cyclic quadrilateral. So if this is 70 and you add this one, you get 180. So this one becomes 110. Okay? 110. Now look. Look at another aspect of sine, the one I told you. The one which are related at the circumference and at the center. Now, let me rub this again here. There. Okay. You see, this was related to that. Now look at another one. I have an angle here. This must relate to. Look. The signs again are the same here, here. Remember? Very important. You can't miss it with this. This one will be original from you. Of course it is from me, but it is from you. When these signs are the same, you can't miss it. You can't confuse anything. So, after I've known this is 110, this is 110. Then at the center will be double, 220. And if this is 220, here will be 140. Simple. See now, this is 140. This is 70, yeah, this is 70. And at the center, it is related to that. So this is 70, this is 1. 40. See, this angle 70 gives you 140. It also gives you 110. Another student look at it from another perspective. Okay? He looks at this. He adds this because they are cyclic quadrilateral. Then from this, from this, he generates that. From this, he generates this. So you will find the richness because people will only absorb what the mind accommodates. I'm done. Other things that you can put, if this is 140, then this angle here, let me call it alpha, must equal to this because OQP is isosceles. Base angles must be equal. So what do we do? What is 180 minus 140? It is 40. Divide by 2, 20. So I have here 20. 20. I'm sure you can do now this question. I'm trying to put the knowledge you learned in lesson 1 here. So lesson 1 must be very clear. Go through it again and again. Let us now focus down. There is another question another question what are the key things I'm talking about I'm talking about use the angle given to generate others number two 
there are some lines that will be hidden or not shown it is upon you for example here it is obvious now for this okay i'm using red for those hidden lines if o is the center oa is a radius equally ob will be a radius there see now if this is that oab is isosceles triangle oab is isosceles so i can even put the mark giving me authority to put 30 30 and 30 is 60 subtract from 180 you get 120 if i get 120 there i'm not answering the question i'm only doing practice vis-a-vis -vis what tools i learned in lesson one if i know this let me rub o this is obtuse so i can get reflex which will be 240 look look now this angle is marked like that at the center there is another angle here So if this is 240 at the center, this is 120. So I put 120 there. If this is 120, this is 23, you should be able to get angle dot. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you is if you understand the basics, 10 marks. Do not leave those 10 marks thinking you'll get something easier. Angle property of a circle fall under what I call recall questions. Recall questions are questions which have very few words. They are diagram based. They are one line based kind of question they test recall ability you know when i give you a law it is you have to know it to avoid doing mistakes as a law so i give you laws a diameter produce an angle of 90 it's a law you can prove it so if you can't remember you will break the law You'll be doing things saying you don't know. If you understand the laws, you can't break them. It's a simple. It is there in life. Get another question. Start doing without answering. See what you have. Diameter. Chord. Chord, there are two parts. A chord subtend equal angles in the same segment. Then Part two, a chord subtend an angle at the center which is twice the other on the circumference. Number three, cyclic quadrilateral. So when you see a cyclic quadrilateral, there is something is testing. Number four, alternate segment theorem. How do you know? When you see a tangent in any diagram, he is testing that. Then of course parallel lines and you are done. Bye bye.